welcome from Underwater Math. I am excited to talk about adding and subtracting time today. Let's get started. First, we need to get familiar with the clock. Time is told in both hours and minutes. The shorthand is called the hour hand, and this one is between seven and eight, which means it is past seven o'clock, but not yet eight. The long hand counts the minutes. It starts at the top and works its way around the clock. Each one of these numbers on the clock represents five minutes. This minute hand says it is 25 minutes past the hour. This clock says it is 725. Now that we can read a clock, let's look at a time problem together. A great white shark and a bull shark swam a race at 725. The bull shark finished the race in 40 minutes, but the great white shark finished 15 minutes before that. What time did the great white shark finish? Let's use the clock to help us. The race started at 725 and the bull shark swam it in 40 minutes. We can count up 40 minutes on the clock using five minute jumps. That gets us to five minutes past the next hour. So the bull shark finished at 805. We know the great white shark finished 15 minutes before the bull shark. So we can jump 15 minutes backwards on the clock. Now the clock reads 750. So we've done it. The great white shark won the race at 750. But wait, there is another way to solve this problem. The great white shark finished the race 15 minutes before the bull shark. So we can just subtract 15 minutes from the bull shark's time. This gives us the time the great white shark completed the race. Using our five minute jumps, we can add 25 minutes onto our start time of 7.25. This lands us at 7.50. This is the time the great white shark finished the race. We solved it once again. Thanks for adding and subtracting time with me. See you next time.